Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. You know the deal, this is Diana here and today we're going to Canada, again, Edmonton, to view a 4.3 million dollar house. I say we're going to view like I'm actually physically going there. No, we're just gonna react to it. But, <laughs> I hope you're ready. Pull up my, sh my sleeves, let's go. Hey everyone, it's Mike from Property Grams. Today, we're in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, and we're here to see this $4.3 million home. Oh, All right, guys, we just cool. got inside, and the first thing you notice is it's glass waterfall. Whoa, it's dizzy from that intro. Ah, uh, glass waterfall. Wow, how tranquil and grand. <laughs> That's so grand. As soon as you walk in, it's like here. Let me show you my waterfall, which is also see-through, so I can like see the other side of the building. <laughs> Amazing. That's crazy. And I actually um, see an elevator behind there too. There's an elevator there, but you'd also take the stairs to this unbelievable catwalk above. I actually never seen a catwalk in the entrance like that before. Wow. Uh, yeah, you have. <laughs> Just now. <laughs> Let's go and check out the living room. Huge marble. It's so open space. As soon as you walk through the door, you are basically inside the home. I don't like that. I do, I am really conditioned. I don't I don't like the fact that the door opens and you are in my living space. I keep saying this, and I'm gonna keep saying it if I keep seeing houses like this. Oh my god. But I think it's just the British person in me, the UK person in me. We're used to hallways, then a door to a living room, a door to a kitchen, a door to da 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 We're not really used to the whole open thing. Really nice space though, really nice open area. I love it, um, minus the fact that there is no entry, there's no separation between like an entry and a living space. That's the only thing I have to say, but I think I'm just conditioned. I'm too conditioned. Let's continue. Huge marble fireplace. Nice cozy couches. Like this is huge. There's three big couches here. So get an understanding of how big this This fireplace is so different. Um I would love to see the fire on just to see how just to see how beautiful it is as a whole. And I'd love this like geometric um 3D cut out thing that's going on on both sides. It's really nice, it gives you a little view into what the next room looks like. Um, it's very different, it's very artsy, um, without having a piece of like painting in your house. Um, yeah, there's different ways to add art, guys. So I like it, I love what the living room looks like now. big this living room actually is. I like these insets on both sides of the fireplace, helps you see through to the living room. Yeah, it does. Keeps it, keeps it airy and open but yet closed off. What's behind you? Uh, this looks like a bar, let's check it out. Grab a few drinks and then head over to the- Absolutely. The purple couches. Beautiful bar, I can pour some drinks here. What's behind that glass though? Uh, looks like a pretty cool room, let's check it out. Oh wow. Look at the skyline. Smell like turf in here, man. And some this reminds me like of a waiting area of some sort of spa facility. They've always got like greenery. That's the only thing I can say shit with. But what's the purpose? Because as soon as you walk in the house, you're in my living room. So I might as well let you sit down in my living room chairs. <laughs> I don't get it. But let's continue. TV behind So you here. can either play soccer in here or you can soccer, meditate. Soccer, yoga. Uh, you can meditate, yeah. It's very cool. Did you check out the TV behind the mirror? What is this? I thought it was just a mirror. No! Uh -huh. There's a TV behind the mirror. That's crazy. It is crazy. Let's go this way. Let's go. We're coming in this office here. This is where Steve Job was. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, this is where he's here. Oh, he's right there? Let me see what you look like in the chair. Do you look like a business guy? Not really. No? No, I got a baby face. The um, 
the office seems very cold to me though um i normally like plain simple looking places i feel like a, f a little bit more personality can be injected into this place it looks very slightly basic i like the bare look um, actually i think when he zooms out it's it's nice as a whole um, but just looking at this shot here is just it seems like the only personality is the clock, the giant clock, which I love, by the way, very industrial, very, very unique. I do love the shape of the desk. It's not even straight. <laughs> that adds personality, doesn't it? Um, but let's watch on to see what else. But I got glasses. I might have to be a bit taller too. These are actually cast iron and they don't fit on my head. Very nice. Thing. Very nice. Stuff. This, this bathroom is really cool. I'll let you go in and go around. Uh, okay. okay, I'll come with you. Okay, okay. So Whoa. you come this way, you got a sink in the front, and it's basically a circle, and then you come around. This feels like the Matrix. Yeah, and then you got a toilet right here. Uh, it says, please do not use. <laughs> so don't use it. And then this you come, is crazy. Then you can come right back around. Wow. That is very different. I don't understand it, I don't get it, but it's so unique. I would like to think they did this because of a space. You know, they wanted to be unique with the space or use it wisely. But now that I think about it, maybe not. I don't know. It's just very nice that it's got the 360 mirrors going around. It's very different, um, very unique. Um, I don't hate it. I don't hate it. That's good. That's a good thing for me. <laughs> and you're back at the front. That's pretty cool. cool. Check out the kitchen. It's almost, that bathroom is almost saying, okay, do your business back there. When you walk around, you go and see that sink and you have to use it. It's like a reminder, like use the sink for people that don't wash their hands. I think that's what it's for. Yeah, it's reminding you nasty people. Two islands. Like you can sit how many people on here? six here. It's kind of nice and light underneath here. Mm -hmm. I love. Hidden fridges? No, that's not a fridge. That's... Yes, oh, wow. it is. Wow, that's a... Sub-zero appliances. Wow. I do love a hidden fridge. That looked like it just could be a regular, regular cupboard, but it opens up into a fridge. I love hidden fridges, and I love American-style fridges that has the double doors. Absolutely amazing. Um, I've got something to say about the marble, streaky marble. Like, I don't know why marble needs to be that obvious. Like, I like the the, the the lighter versions where it's just like small streaks, but when it's got that huge, it's just so, so much. Yeah, cute, cute kitchen. And also console tables with like multi, like so many seating. It's, it's becoming apparent that once your house is bigger, you just have to seat more people at your, um, not console table. Islands, yeah, kitchen islands. There's like more than three or four to be seated and that's just so different to me but I'm seeing it a lot and it seems to be a thing. Wow those are massive. I, mean, I didn't think it was a fridge because the door is so wide. And then freezer. Wow, wow, wow. I really like the idea of a freezer that comes out as a drawer. That's actually pretty cool. What's Ooh. behind door number one? It's gonna be Wait. a pantry. A pantry? Ooh, oh, kitchen. Yeah, pantry. Chef's kitchen. Nice and warm. Chef's kitchen. <laughs> that um, phrase is very new to me as well. I keep hearing it. Chef's kitchen. There's always a main kitchen and there's always a chef's kitchen. We're just always tucked away somewhere behind the kitchen. Um, but yeah, I guess it's good for entertaining if you don't want uh, the chaos to be seen. It, you, you have the chef's kitchen um, tucked away and then nobody will know what's going on until the food comes out. Um, really nice space. The chef's kitchen size is about a good size kitchen in the UK, just for comparison. Just, just, just to compare. Fridge, stove, definitely should be kitchen. Oh, you're not gonna want to see in there. Wow, what's that? Uh, it's just so gross. <laughs> you know what's gross? Is when you have an empty fridge oh. in your home. Oh. Lots of storage. Wow. Actually, it's a lot of space in here. What's back here? I'm gonna assume that's this is the, the um storage spaces in this chef's kitchen is actually a style of like an open um cabinet. Um, 
is something that I've also been noticing recently, but I'm not so much of a fan of an open um, cabinet or a floating shelf situation because it's like, it might take away from your color scheme or just like the design aspect. It might work in some kitchens, it might not work in some, but mm -mm. Um, I think I prefer everything closed. The garage actually. Oh yeah. Open that up. dark in there. It's like a two-part garage. Bathroom. And back around that way. Let's go this way. Alright, what else we got here? Dining room. Seats like 12 people. Okay, so it's like lots of room. Huh? Lots of room though. You can put an even bigger table if you really wanted to. Nice custom wall there, eh? Mm -hmm. I do, however, like this dark marble effect table. I do like it because it's less obvious when it's um darker um but i prefer that than the light marble in the kitchen i can see that this whole floor is basically open plan everything is open so you can walk from the living room to the kitchen to the kitchen to the dining room dining room to maybe another um, living area um but yeah it's all open um i don't know how i feel about that um i don't know i really don't know and another TV room, really nice room. And you can't go around, so shall we go up or shall we go down? Let's go up. Up? Oh, this right this way, sir. So there's a basement floor, that's why I said, should we go down? And there's an upstairs as well. I'm really digging these Canadian houses. Well, the two, this is the second one that I've done so far. You go. You enter through the middle and then there's a basement and then there's the, the floor above. Uh, yeah, that's really fun. That's really fun. Glass. Here, Kings. I believe there's two bedrooms here and two more this way. Which one do you want to see first? Master's right here. <laughs> Save the master for last. Ooh, we're going to make them wait? Yeah. yeah, let's make them wait. <laughs> Alright, I promise this is not a master bedroom, but it looks like one. Wow. Space. Definitely big enough to be one. Definitely big enough. It's certainly spacious, and I can already see it has an ensuite going on. Oh, yes, that's a really huge space, and that is not a master bedroom, so I cannot even imagine what a master bedroom looks like. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited for the master bedroom now. That is a lot of space. And then an ensuite. I'm told that every bedroom has an ensuite here. Oh, wow. wow. Like floor to ceiling shower. Versace, Versace, you the ton. Nice mm -hmm. storage. Lots of storage. What's that? It even has a built in storage system. That's really cool. I don't know why the stickers. Maybe a kid lived there. Maybe this is a child's room. I don't know. Industry. <laughs> Interesting design feature. The bathroom tiles, I don't even know if it's tiles. It looks like it's like industrial drilled pieces, but I'm sh pretty sure it's just tiles. And um, that's very different, very unique. Not really a fan, mm -mm, don't like it. And yeah, those stickers need to go. All right, let's see your best strut down the catwalk. <laughs> This London is absolutely divine. I absolutely love it. There's so much like, because it's sort of open end on both sides, as in it's like they've taken up the space of two floors to create the living room space above. This landing is like, I don't even know what to say. Like it's like a, uh, a, a, a catwalk it's it's a uh, it, I would I would catwalk on there every day every morning yes and I love the double glass the glass and the glass on um, either side and you can appreciate your chandelier or whatever you've hanged up I absolutely love it oh. <laughs> all right laundry room here super big wow Nice appliances, sink. This is a uh, every laundry fan's dream. 
And I like that it's actually... In the laundry room is about uh, a small bedroom in the UK, like a single bedroom. <laughs> just for perspective. Um, just for an idea of what it, it looks like. This laundry room is really, really cute. I love it. I, the idea of having a utility cupboard or a utility room. Love it. I like that it's actually on the same level as the bedrooms. Oh yeah. Because it could be a massive Who wants to climb up all these stairs? Oh, another, not master bedroom, but big enough to be one. Wow. Built in, cool feature wall. Mm -hmm. I love the art too. Again, designer. I mean, killed it. I'm going to say that this is Snoop Dogg. <laughs> That's probably the Blues Brothers. And so on and so forth. And then we got a closet and a bathroom. Oh, I see a quote. What to say? I prefer this tiles on the bathroom than the previous one. Um, I don't know why they didn't keep the design the same and keep the continuity, um, keep it consistent. I don't know why, but I, pre I prefer this one. I really, really like this tiles for a bathroom. It's really cute. Um, yeah, another another good space and it has closet space. This is a beautiful that you've got closet space for every room and an ensuite for every room. Come on. Money. What does a bathroom quote say? Let me get let me get up in here. Oh, that's a delay. There we go. It says, "Here I sit, broken hearted, had to shit but only farted." Why do they have these quotes on the building? Why? Why? Are you trying to sell your house or not? I hate when that happens. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. Shut up. Yeah. Look at these. This is the appreciation that I, I was talking about. Basically saying you can walk down this walkway and appreciate your choice of chandelier. Not my favorite choice right here, but your choice of chandelier and whatever else feature you have in your home. It's really nice, guys. It's, I love it. Beautiful. Well, look at this. Feature wall. Wow. Elephants, they're lucky, right? Elephants are lucky. I don't know if it's with the trunk up or the trunk down. I think the trunk up is lucky. Another massive bedroom. Like, if this were for a kid, if I was a kid in here, I would love this bedroom. And you know when they punish lucky. you and they send you to your room? Yeah, yeah. I'd be like, thanks. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> All right. Thanks. Thanks, I'll just stand in my shower. <laughs> Where are you at? Right here. Another really, really cute shower. Um, this one has been simplified, just regular tiles, no patterns, um, which I also very much love. Another good space, just brilliant. <laughs> Beauty of the I, world. I was like, where did you go? <laughs> this some place secret, is massive. Secret space, I don't Another know. Another closet, all open concept. This place is awesome. Wait, what is that? Another, another one. Another little pole here we got. All right, so the grand finale of bedrooms. <gasps> the master. master. Catwalk strut. Every time you walk the catwalk, if you have this, if you I said the same thing. That is the catwalk aisle. Like you would just be practicing your walks right there. If you get a new shoe, that is the aisle that you would practice to walk in those shoes with. That is the that is it. But it's a bit unfair because it's that carpet. If that's carpet, then it's easier to walk in heels and carpet than the actual tiles. But Anyway, if you add this, if you own this house, you have it. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are heading to the master. Before we get to the master, looks like we've got a coffee station here. Nice. Make some coffee in the morning, don't have to run downstairs. It's done. Second video I've watched of this guy with a coffee station, either in the room or really next to the room. I don't mind this so much, but I still don't understand why you would need the coffee stand or coffee station, like on the first floor or where your bedroom is. Just go downstairs in the kitchen. You actually utilize your kitchen. Um, but I think this is very rich people thing, um, which I can't relate to at the moment. <laughs> Maybe one day. But um, yeah, just having the kitchen. I don't understand what the problem is. We're not at a hotel. Sounds good to me. Mm -hmm. They say they save the best for last, but the design aspect of this bedroom is just what is going on what's going on no 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 they really need they really need to redesign this they really need, they need to redesign this it's like 
It looks the cheapest. What's going on? No, 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 no. <laughs> Probably have a dance party. <laughs> Let's be honest. Yeah. <laughs> a big pillow fight. It's such a huge, huge space. They could have really utilized the space a little bit better. Um, I think a different just decor decorator, interior designer would do a great job. The the lounging chair. It's meant to be arty, but I just feel like I'm at a boat or banana boat ride. Um, in a fun fair or something that's just gonna go like this it's just uh, i don't get it sorry bed looks so small when it's probably this is a king but look how small it looks compared to the size of this room how funky is this chair that is crazy funky i think that's the key word funky yeah this is where you'd have your coffee in the morning in your row in your row yeah so it's got its own little patio there. Cool. Oh, look at this. You got your soaker tub. Another massive shower. So Just put some water on. Oh, yeah. His and her sinks. What's that say? What happens in the bathroom stays in the bathroom. Yeah, we'll just shut that. True story. <laughs> oh, my. Wow. wow. Okay, so. Okay, I wasn't impressed by anything but this closet. Um, wow, that's a lot of space. And I thought this little console in the middle, this little um, island was a dressing mirror, but I don't even think it is. It's just a nice little place. You can sit down, put your shoes on. I absolutely love it, minus the crystal chandelier situation. Um, I like it. I like it a lot. Um, I actually don't mind the dark woods um, for this closet. This is huge. Lots of space in here. Like, one more Let's well, close to fit all this. Beautiful makeup table. Nice. Beautiful house. Beautiful bathroom. This place is beautiful. And I hate the door. Thanks for telling me. Mr. and Mrs. All right, we're gonna go head downstairs. All right, so we're standing downstairs now. Check out this wine rack right by the stairs. Built into it. Okay, so as soon as you go downstairs to the basement, I'm assuming, um, you've got the wine, wine, wine display. That's cute. Um, you can show off to your friends when they come over that you have like a wine cellar. It's not really a cellar, it's not really in a cellar, um, but a wine display. Into it. All right, let's go to the second bar. So downstairs is like all about entertainment. This is like... So downstairs, like he said, it's the entertainment hub. Um, that makes sense. You bring his friends downstairs and then you can entertain them. Uh, you can entertain them on this floor. It's nice. It's like... It's all entertainment. Down there. That's Versace, Versace, right? Versace, Versace. You know what's this though? What's that? This? I don't, I don't think they can see it, but it's like yeah. there's carbon fiber in the nozzle. I've never seen carbon fiber used uh, on a sink. It's because they, um, it's really fast, you know, so it <laughs> yeah. needs that, that light, light lightweight look, yeah. The grey gooses lined up. This person likes grey goose and Ciroc. Look at the other side. Anyway, let me not mention these names. They're not paying me. Pretty cool. That is actually really cool. Check that out. A Nike sink. <laughs> Just do it. Okay, actually... that's doing too much. <laughs> Why is the sink doing too much? What is going on? Can we just have a regular sink, please? Uh, just a regular, regular sink. This sink is doing the thing that the lounge, chilling lounge in the master bedroom was doing. We don't, we don't like it. That's actually really That's sweet. pretty cool, eh? Uh, we've got an empty bedroom. All right. Oh, they do have ensuite as well. Empty bedroom. With the bathroom. With the bathroom. So two bedrooms downstairs and a large wow. storage. Okay. Six. That's pretty cool that it's got two bedrooms downstairs as well. Um, so what is that? Six bedrooms altogether, four? Yeah. So that's pretty cool. If you had any guests over and you sort of want to keep your upstairs separate from them, 
this will be the best place for them to stay. Um, I think the bedrooms are slightly smaller, but they do have an ensuite, which is fantastic. Um, yeah, great space. Good in total, I think this place has. We've got a fitness room here. Check this out. We've got a pool table, little game room, two cues. Purple again, eh? Lots of purple. I'm purple digging the purple, though. And a big screen, of course. You gotta watch some sports up here, right? Watch uh, the Raptors take the win. The Raptors? Are we Canadian? Ooh. What's this? A movie room. Wow. I like how it's got like the movie um, displays as if you're actually in the movie theater. That's pretty cool. And it's got the reel, um, the things that the, the, the movie reels sit on when we're showing it in the cinema. That's what it looks like. It looks really cool. I would really enjoy just watching anything in here. Ugh, all the reality shows, all the Disney movies, everything. I'll definitely watch it down here. What movie are you watching right now? Well, probably The Goonies. Don't tell anybody, but I like The Goonies. That's a classic cool. movie. The soundproofing in here. Yeah, it sounds like very movie like, movie theater like. In a world. In a world. Laundry room and the brains of the operation. Uh, this is Google's towers over here, or what? Yeah, oh, wow. smart home towers. <laughs> Damn, it really. Oh, that reminds me of like uh, office, um, intent like IT facility hub or something. It's, everything is integrated. That's absolutely cool. <laughs> so yeah, you should be able to control everything in one place. Amazing. But yeah, it's got a gym facility everyone needs a gym facility even though, even if you're not going to use it you need it <laughs> um yeah cool entertainment entertainment floor love it all right i think that's it for this one. this concludes the tour i hope you enjoyed it okay so <laughs> what's my favorite part of the house i would okay i would say the living room, yeah, the living room, minus the fact that you just open the front door and you're in the living room. The living room itself is really beautiful, it's designed really nicely. I feel like it's the only normal part of the house um, that is n designed normally. Everything else was doing too much, the master bedroom was doing too much and they had too much space to play with and they decided to fill it up with some banana, purple banana boat no but yeah that would be my favorite part of the house yeah the living room i love how it's got the the the, the cut out geometric shaped panels the fireplace only wish that fireplace was actually one panel rather than i can see that there's got like some gold details between like three panels or something um i wish it was all just one that would be much better but i love the living room and how it's designed it's just it's not doing too much the rest of the house is doing a little bit too much but in terms of buying the house yes i would buy it because everyone has their taste level and everyone has how they would decorate the house the house itself is huge it's spacious yeah i'll definitely buy it and just basically make it my own definitely the space is amazing i want to go into the comments and i want to know what other people think about this house whether they like it whether they don't whether they like the, the, the chairs let's see if they talk about the chairs let's go Someone says better than a 50 million mansion. Um, can't compare, uh, but I think it's all based on where you live and where your property is. Um, but yeah, um, it seems like Canada are doing bits with um, just, what is this, 4.3 million? Yeah, they're doing a lot um, with what they have. They managed to make their house feel like Ikea. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it looks, some part looks very um very display like like we're selling this kitchen you know how people like i heard people go into ikea and take pictures in the kitchen because it's already like displayed as if you would live there but yeah i can see why he would say that so this house has six bedrooms five bathrooms an elevator a bridge 
<laughs> bridge, <laughs> a huge garage, a movie room, two bars, a fitness center, a meditation room, a glass waterfall, huge closet, who knows how many living rooms and probably way more. It has everything that you need in life. Yes, it's gonna fulfill all your needs. <laughs> I'm gonna read one more. Those quotes and stickers prove that money can't buy taste. Woo! You can be rich and still, that's meant to say be tacky as hell. What's your name? Edit Ting. You couldn't have said it better. Like you have hit the nail on the head. I, I agree with you 110%. It was so tacky and every time it kept on coming, I just felt sick and sick and sick. It's too much. You have such a nice house and you're just gonna ruin it by putting quotes and on top of toilets, talking about S-H-I-T, like, why are you doing that? Th this quote and sticker proves that money can't buy taste. Listen, I agree 110% and I'm glad somebody has said it for me. They understand, they get it. But yeah, I'm gonna leave it there. I'm gonna let you think about that. Um, but thank you for watching this video. Please do like, please do subscribe, leave a comment below. Come on, let's talk. Let's actually converse, all right? All right, I will see you in my next video. Bye.